I want you to get together. I'm just, I'm just thinking as well. Sorry, I'm about to go on another round. But I've got to say this while it's still in my mind before I forget. But I was listening to me and my wife there talk, okay? And we were discussing the end of the world scenario about the great white throne judgment and the war that comes just before it. Okay, and we're trying to figure out how would Satan convince the entire earth to come together as one to go fight against the camp of saints? Now, there would have to be a deception at play. Maybe. Okay, maybe he does convince everybody to just be evil and against Jesus thoroughly and go knowingly and witting and knowingly make war with Jesus. Maybe. I feel like there's going to be a bit of a lie at play. I think like the majority of people that make that war with the camp of saints are going to be fooled. And we were speculating that, okay, so everybody's been programmed to believe aliens are attacking us if they were to witness an enormous mothership just appear above everything. Okay. We think Independence Day, you know what I mean? We Everyone's... If anyone saw an enormous, vast, sky-expanding, floating thing in the sky appear, everyone would assume, 99% of the global, well, earthly population would assume, aliens have come to attack. Even a lot of Christians would likely believe that too, because they're not all they're not all flat earthers, you know what I mean? We I think we can forget sometimes in our little echo chamber in the conspiracy world here that what we believe is not believed by the majority of the population on Earth. Okay, they do not even know about the things we talk about. May, may we may constitute as a whole, I don't know, 0.5 percent of the entire population of the Earth, the people that know the stuff we know and think about. Okay. So when when this thing appears in the sky, let's say it's either a giant cube or a giant pyramid of some kind that spans 1,380 miles to the, to the eyes and everyone who looks north could just see this thing in the distance, you know what I mean, if they're not close to it. All right. 99.5% of, of the Earth will say, <gasps> aliens, okay? That's what they've been programmed to believe. And then there'll be a mass events perhaps where people will be convinced to band together as humanity as one to go fight the common enemy we now face an alien threat <laughs> that's come to destroy earth and they'll tell us all these things saying the aliens have communicated with us at the world leaders and they've said they've come to bring war and to destroy us and that we need to give up um, resistance is futile, you know, and the truth is nobody's talked to them. They're all in it together, remember. These are all evil people who control the world. They've just lied to the public and said the aliens said they're here to kill us all. We need to band together. We need every able-bodied man, woman and child to come together to fight the aliens, everybody. It's time. It's time. To, it's come together time, you know. It's time to drop our differences, stop these petty wars. Let's all become one unit and all go march up towards the north where this thing seems to be chilling and let's get it before it gets us. Let's get them, <laughs> <laughs> is that not the Camp of Saints scenario? Is that not simply New Jerusalem has revealed itself? It's the end. And Satan's convinced everyone on Earth to come together and go make war with the Camp of Saints. Is that not what's just happened? And I was thinking about, there must be an extra layer to this. And I was thinking about Project Bluebeam is, is included here, isn't it? And the fake alien invasion stuff that's been pushed on us. And that we have, well, we've been researching in the conspiracy world for a while that the planning of fake alien invasion using holographic technology, perhaps some drones and explosives and some theatrics involved with the holograms to make us think UFOs are fighting or blasting us when it's probably just drones blasting us with a hologram wrapped around it. So, you know, like the plot of uh, Spider-Man, for example, you know, Far From Home, I think it was called, or No Way Home or something. You know, where Mysterion had his own holographic projections and drones creating monsters that weren't really there. Predictive programming stuff. They were telling you the truth, you know. <laughs> but imagine if they do something like that. Say the mothership appears and it's just Jesus chilling with his saints. He's not going to attack us because that's just not what he does. You know, that's, that's, that's the son of God. He's not here to just wipe us all out cruelly and destroy the the Empire State, State Building with a laser like in Independence Day. That's not going to happen. It's literally just going to become visible. And then that's the final call then, isn't it? This is right. It's the end of the script, guys. Make your move, you know. And he's just going to sit there, all right? But then 
what the evil controllers could do is then do the fake alien invasion thing and make it seem like all these UFOs have just appeared when the mothership appears and start blowing everything up and attacking places and, you know, and it's the ultimate false flag event, isn't it? And we are going to believe the mothership has just sent all these tiny little ships out to, to kill us all. <laughs> when really, it had nothing to do with the mothership that just appeared. It's just chilling there. It did nothing. They have gone out of their way to release everything at that moment against humanity to convince us that it's the invading aliens that did this. That would be a very convincing scenario to make everyone rally together to fight back, right? It's not just enough that a ship just suddenly appears, that, let's say New Jerusalem just appears, and everyone's been convinced that's the mothership of evil aliens. That's not enough. But if they can make it seem like the evil aliens have attacked by using all their technology to make a false alien invasion, then we would be convinced to go and make war with it, right? To defend ourselves. We can see what they do. This, this mothership, these aliens are vicious, they're merciless. They'll stop at nothing to subjugate and enslave all of mankind. They've come to destroy the Earth, not on our watch. Let's band together, everybody. Let's do this, you know what I mean? Let's go make war with this thing and destroy it. <laughs> that thing did nothing. That ship did nothing. We were duped again. Because I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how does all this stuff we've been researching fit into this story like Project Bluebeam? And I realized it does, it can work. That can still be a useful tool to them when the New Jerusalem appears, as I've just explained. And it's just, just a little working theory of mine, again, just to fit into the narrative. How does it all fit? Just trying to think logically here about what we already know and what we now theorize we may also know with this millennial reign already happening thing. And in terms of the future end war, I, I can see that as a reasonable scenario playing out. And everyone, everyone's been prepped to go along with that script and believe every every second of it. You know? And then there'll be us saying, nah, that ain't, that ain't an evil mothership. That, that, I think that's New Jerusalem, you know. And if we voiced that opinion during this time, they would think we were insane. They would be like, aliens are literally killing us and blowing up our cities and you're there saying you're not gonna go and fight what are, you're a traitor to all of mankind and it's likely just like in true tribulation repeating itself once more we might be beheaded by these people because they think we're evil traitors who want mankind to be destroyed and we're so stupid and vile and, you know, that it's like in the trenches in World War One. Anybody who doesn't fight gets put in prison or killed. You know what I mean? It could be that's what happens to the Christians who know about this stuff like we're talking about. And are like, nah, this is this is what we've been theorizing. This is the mothership appearing and the faking an alien invasion. This is Jesus. We're in the little season. This is the end of the line. Like, this is what's happening right now. That's the camp of saints. And Satan's trying to convince us to make war with it. Literally, the room would be silent. They'd all look at you. They'd have a look of disgust on their face. And they'd all look at each other and go, get him. <laughs> like, they would kill us just for saying something like that. Because did these people have just lost their homes, their loved ones, due to the fake alien invasion, the first wave, you know. These people have just had their entire cities destroyed. They've just watched their own children be crushed in front of them by falling debris or something. And these stupid backwards like desert religion believing christians are still talking about jesus during a time like this where there's unequivocal proof and evidence that it's all fake because aliens have turned up which means it's vast infinite space you know god isn't real jesus was not real that was all a lie clearly don't they see the aliens the stupid retarded christians that's what they'll think. That's how they'll act and react to people like us saying these things at the time. We will seem like backwards lunatics in the in sight of alien invasions. We'll seem like people who just can't face the truth that our stupid ancient religion is just not true, you know? <laughs> it's like, you science-denying, alien-denying traitors. <laughs> That's how they'll see us. That is how they will see us. And um, hopefully more people will see videos like this before this happens and they'll understand that maybe we're not so crazy. Maybe we knew what was going on. Maybe we did, you know, maybe this is our best guess, maybe closer to the truth in the end. 
<laughs> That's all I've got, guys. This is my best guess. I don't. I don't know. You know, I don't know how it's all going to play out. Um, but I, and I, I, I have had this state of mind for a long time where I, I do not want to be caught off guard. I'm not saying I'm going to get it figured out and I'm going to know exactly what's happening. But I'm going to do everything I can to theorize every possibility I'm capable of theorizing about. So when whatever happens, happens, I can very quickly piece together what it may actually be, you know, and that's why I do this. It's it's a personal thing. I I just, I just like, I just like to know, you know, I like to, I like to, I don't like surprises, I guess, (laughs) is what I'm trying to say. (laughs) But uh, at the same time, I I don't think I'm going to ever figure out exactly what's going to go down, but I think I've I've come up with a, with some I don't know I think I've come up with some pretty good ideas there guys haven't I I want you to get together